Welcome back to another CG Figures tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can very quickly make a stretchable, flexible, bendable substrate in Blender. We'll go ahead, grab the default cube, hit X, and delete it. With Shift-A, I'm going to add in a plane, zoom in a bit, tab into edit mode, right-click, and choose Subdivide. I'm then going to bring the number of cuts from 1 to 20, and then tab back into object mode, come over to Modifier Properties, and add a Solidify modifier, which will control our thickness. I'm going to start with a thickness of 0.1, and then go ahead and add a bevel modifier, bring the segments to 2, the offset to 0.01, and change the limit method from none to angle. Then right click, shade smooth, and we can start deforming the plane using a simple deform. There are three aspects of simple deform that I'm going to talk about. Twist, bend, and stretch. Now for twist and stretch, you want them both to be below the solidify. For bend, you want it to be above the solidify. And that's not always obvious, but trust me, that's the way that you really want it to be set up. Now, twist is the first option, and it comes with pretty good out-of-box settings. If I want to, I can simply drag on this angle slider, and it's going to twist. Stretch, likewise, I can simply pull on this factor, and it's going to stretch. You'll notice when it is stretching, it's pinching in the y-axis, because I'm currently stretching it on x, and it's getting thinner in z. If I wanted to get thinner, but not pinch, I lock the y. And if I want it to pinch but not get thinner, I lock the Z. The last one that I'm going to talk about is bend. And bend doesn't come with good out-of-box settings, as you can see. But they are quite easy to fix. So I'm going to drag that value down a bit, hit Shift-A, and add in a plane axis empty. I'll then hit R, X, 90, which means I've rotated that empty 90 degrees. Grab the plane, and then they're under axis origin, choose that empty. And you can see our bend now looks much, much better. And I can just pull this angle slider and get it to bend the way I want. If I wanted it to bend in the other direction, I would change the axes from X to Z. And now it'll bend like this. If I wanted to, I could also add another simple deform modifier, set it up to bend, and then add in again that same empty. And with one set to X and one set to Z, I could now bend it in all kinds of different ways. So I could make different shapes depending on how I want to do this. There are a few things that you want to note though. The first is that this empty is deciding how the bending is occurring. So if I move either of these objects relative to each other, say I grab the plane and I hit G and move it, you can see that's really changing how that bend is happening. Likewise, if I move the empty, similarly. To stop that from happening so you can freely move this plane in your scene, simply click your empty, shift and click your plane, hit Control p and parent to object. Now I can grab the plane, move it around freely, and it won't be a problem. The other thing to notice is that if I really bring this angle up quite high on the simple deform, and again, like I said, it should be above the solidify, you'll notice that I'm now starting to see these angular bits because there isn't enough geometry in this mesh. If I were to tab into edit mode, I could simply right click and subdivide more, but I'm gonna do this a little bit more cleanly by adding in a subdivision surface modifier, which I will bring to the top of the stack, change to 2 in the viewport, and now you can see I've got very smooth bending. So with, without. One other thing to notice is that it's actually rounding my edges here. And if I don't want the edges to be rounded, that's also an easy fix. Tab into edit mode, hit alt A to deselect everything, 2 for edge select, and alt and shift. Click just around the perimeter here, and then hit N to open the side menu, and bring this mean crease value up to 1. Now you can see we've got our nice crisp edges back, but we also now have something that is going to bend and look pretty smooth all the way throughout. Just like that. So very easily, this is how you could set up anything in Blender to be a flexible, stretchable substrate. From there, you could simply add any material that you want, and this would give you something that you could use in figures, talks, presentations, all kinds of different setups. I'm going to jump away just quickly and come back with a texture from cc0textures.com of a solar cell so you have a sense of what this would look like in a final figure, and then we'll wrap up from there. And so resuming from where we were, you can see just like that, we now have something that has real value as a figure. You could use this to demonstrate flexible solar cells, devices, any kind of panel that you want, be it an LED screen or anything really. The one last thing that I'm going to comment on here is just the fact that you can see that if you're going to use a texture, it might get warped along this edge. There's a very easy way to fix that. Come to your solidify modifier and change the rim material index offset to one. Then come to your material properties, add in a new material into the one slot, and simply make that 
whatever fits. So I've just added in a nice little silver here and you can see very, very quickly, we now have a material where you can control how thick it is. You can control how much it bends. If you want, you can also make it twist as I catch up. You can make it twist. You could stretch it instead. All kinds of options from a very simple setup. Very quick, very easy to do, hopefully useful. So as always, thanks for coming out. If you found this useful, consider subscribing, sharing with your friends and colleagues, and until next time, you have yourself a great old day.